Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. The Sharks win the opening face-off, and we are underway with this one. From the point, they take control of it. Takes it along the wall by Eklund. Handles it along the blue line. Stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of that one. Goaltender covers up and will get a face-off. Lots of time left in this period. The game is still scoreless. San Jose's won the draw and they'll go to work. He scores! Well, a little puck left on the play. Well, I can't tell you how many times this has happened to me, James. As the puck is coming towards you, it winds up hitting you and goes off you, goes the other way, fools the goaltender who doesn't have a chance. The Sharks have to be feeling good about this start here, Cheryl. Yeah, I know it's not rocket science, James, but you certainly play different when you have the lead than when you don't. And when you're the away team and setting the tone, that's a good start. The Ducks get a hold of the draw. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. The Ducks gain possession along the wall. Anaheim's got the puck in their own end. The Ducks take it along the wall. Puck picked up by Thornton. Wolman's taking it from his own end. All oh, smart heads are play to poke that one away. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Richards takes it into the offensive zone. Lays the body into that play. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Couture. He knows he's only one goal away from his next milestone. That's why he's possessing the puck tonight. San Jose's come to play tonight. They have been busy on the offensive scoreboard. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Takes a shot. Anaheim's got a hold of it against the wall. Moves it quickly over to Darlene. Into the offensive zone. The Ducks will play it against the boards. He's known for that one-timer. I mean, the puck has moved around to be able to get it to him. He unloads with the goaltender, reads it, and makes the save. Anaheim's got possession of the puck. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. one nothing to score. The Ducks win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Here's a short pass to Silverberg. And we're all tied up. Yeah, we are, James. And you can certainly feel them coming, couldn't you? I mean, the energy was starting to shift. And they get rewarded with that goal. Well, this is just a perfectly executed one-timer. Right from the pass distribution, right to the weight transfer. Everything magic from start to finish. are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Anaheim's won the draw in the neutral zone. Quick pass to Champion. Picked up along the wall by Delandria. Moves it to Benny. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Now a quick pass to Silverberg. Gets in front of it. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Pass back to the point. James, the recognition of the net front presence in screen and the goalie drops to the butterfly position, really trying
tries to make himself as big as possible, hoping that the puck just hits him because he can't see it. The Ducks have gone up by one here in the opening frame. How does this now change the complexion of this one? Uh, I think it's really important because they got momentum right now. More jump to their step, and now they'll want to try and stay aggressive and increase that lead, take the momentum, and use it to their advantage. And he can't hang on after that hit. Quick feed to Costin. Oh, big time hit along the wall. And this is why I'm glad I'm up here in a suit, Cheryl. Offside the call, we'll get a reset. Anaheim's high activity in the offensive zone has resulted in them leading here midway through the first. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. Play is called for offside. Still lots of time left in the period. Anaheim's been the better-looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one-goal lead. Here's a short pass to Johns. Jostles for the puck, but still hangs on. Into the offensive end now. The Ducks have it against the wall. Poked away at center by CeCe. Scooped up along the wall by Niskanen. Here in the back half of this period, it's a 2-1 game. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Thornton. San Jose's got the puck against the half wall. Picked up along the boards by Darlene. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Slides the puck down low. Stopped by the goaltender. This is a dialed-in goaltender, very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes a save. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Oh, great glove save by Benicek! Continue to lead midway through the first. They have really put on an offensive clinic so far. The champions won the draw inside his own end. Pumps the puck away. Solid check to slow him down. Great read with the stick. Back to the blue line. period has expired. The Ducks lead it 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. Couture's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Stopped by the goaltender. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. The officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another faceoff here. The Ducks get a hold of the puck in their own end. The Sharks have it now. A little bumping around, but still maintains possession. Takes the pass. Beats it over. The Stars make it three in a row, and they're coming now. Well, they certainly are three in a row. They've got their opponents on their heels. It is a wave. You can feel it. The energy every single shift. They're getting it in. Play well and gets himself square to the shooter, but unfortunately, 
to be a little leaky because it finds its way to the back of the net. The Ducks are firing on all cylinders so far here in period number one, Cheryl. They've been playing it with a lot of energy and they've been aggressive and it's their habits. You can tell that they worked on them and they've talked about them pre-game and they have certainly executed in this first period. Fires it into the offensive zone. Sends it quickly to Sederlin. Poked away by Power. Receives the pass. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Quick pass to Sederlin. From center, they get into the attacking area. Taken by Rossi. San Jose's got a hold of the puck now. Quick pass across to Eklund. Put it off the post! Looks to set up at the point now. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Wolman. The Sharks are doing a great job of anticipating the play, and that's why the puck is on their stick. They're intercepting pucks all game long. They've got to make good on them. They've got to transfer it, head north, and start cashing in. And a smart heads up play to poke that away by Wolman. The Sharks scoop it up along the boards. Up along the wing. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. From his own end, he moves it up ahead. Fast and quick lead pass. Slides it across. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. They've got numbers here. Slides it across. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Looking to set up offensively. San Jose's got a hold of it along the wall. And loses possession after a solid hit. There's the buzzer, 20 minutes in the books, second period just around the corner. A chance for both teams to refuel. They are back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Anaheim's had a great start. You really can't ask for more than that. The coaches will be real happy. They bought into the game plan, and they found ways to get pucks to net. And he hits one of his own teammates with that shot. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. And it's a quick pass to Richards. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. San Jose's got the puck along the boards. Drives to the sweet spot, and that's blocked. And now he moves it quickly to Wallman. And he slides it quickly to Tafoli. Some good stick work to force that turnover. Scoops up the puck here. Textbook poke check by Niskanen. Oh, great move to sidestep the check. With the stop. Picked off by Ruda. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Eklund's in a lot of pain here, James. You can see it in his face as he's hobbling and laboring, trying to get back to the bench. Anytime you're injured, you want to know exactly where the play is. You don't want to put your team in a vulnerable spot, but you've got to get off. Anaheim's been very active offensively here early in the second period, and they continue to lead. And they win the offensive zone face-off. Now let's see. They score! Four straight goals. They're rolling now. And talk about confidence, hey, James? I mean, their opponent does not have an answer. They look absolutely stunned. I mean, they are like a freight train just pounding down on them. But this goal is a result of game management, knowing that you're in the offensive zone, knowing who your top guys are in the dot with quick hands to be able to win that possession. They do, and they find the back of the net. And off the draw at center, they take control of the puck. Moves it to Darlene. And makes the routine save. Then a 
Kubitschek's had a difficult time tonight, James. He struggled in the net and the way he's handling the puck, but how about some help in front of him? I mean, his defense, the forwards, everyone, a collective unit that really hasn't been firing on all cylinders. Slides it quickly to Nash. Great defensive play to break it up. And the puck's booted away. Picking up some steam at center ice. The Ducks carry it along the wall. Knocked away. The Ducks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Still has possession. And he takes the dish. Moves it to the middle. And he elects not to shoot and will hang on to the puck. Passes it over. Steps into it. Oh, what a save in front. Avoids the poke check and maintains possession. Takes a shot. Score! on your screen here. They did a fantastic job. I mean, look at the personality and the charm. They brought this all in glory, bobblehead fashion. Faber's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Quick feed to Tippett. A quick save. Now a quick pass to Faber. Handles the puck. And it's off the iron. The Ducks want to pad their stats. Here. They have a comfortable lead. They're dominating possession. They're finding ways to the net. You know every player, when they get a golden opportunity, they want to cash it in, and this one goes off the face. Anaheim setting their power play unit out for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and they're looking to set up. Sends the pass over. Dishes it off. Here's a short pass to Brink. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Kunitz recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Anaheim's got it and they're on the attack. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Benning stick handling in his own zone. Kunin's moving it ahead. They put the puck into the offensive end. Angles it over to Johns. And now he angles it across to Silverberg. Takes the feed. Poked away in the offensive zone by Johns. The Ducks will play the puck from behind the net. Takes a bank in front. And that's stopped by the goaltender. Great save to stay with it. Now the shooter's going to beat the goaltender, but couldn't beat the post. And it's kicked away. And this squad has really put the pressure on now. And they'll end all that pressure as they clear the zone. Dumped in, and they'll go get some fresh legs. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. Makes a move, and the puck hops away from him. It almost looked as if he was going to get by the defender, but that extra move took his face away, and it goes the other way. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Well, this has become the hottest ticket in town, literally another seller. What can you say? This is an ongoing theme now, Cheryl. It's an ongoing theme because they're on a roll, and you're playing well, and it's a lot of fun to watch. People want to be in the building to see your next W. Here he is in close. Blackwood's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. 
Lindbergh's side still short-handed here as they slide in for the face-off. Michaels won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. Blackwood's opted to hang on to the puck for a face-off. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the face-off. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Keeps it over. Slides it across. And it goes off a stick and off to the side. Anaheim's got the puck along the wall. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. He stopped it. <laughs> he stopped it. Oh, it's like a rubber band, James. I thought he was out of the net, but he finds his way back in to make that save. Being on the power play is a privilege. Trust me, I know I was never on it, always on the PK. So for those players who didn't execute, yes, they had a comfortable lead, and some would say it's not a big deal, but to each and every one of them, it should be. The Ducks have been on fire offensively tonight, and they lead for good reason here in the second. Anaheim's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Great faceoff win by the center. Now they can get out of their zone and get a change. Science gets the check. Oh, and what a save as he gets that one, too. What I love about the sequence of saves is knowing where the puck is, and his awareness is outstanding. He finds it, he makes the save. Not once, not twice, multiple times. Faceoff coming up in the offensive end. They'll look to maintain that momentum. Oh, well, yeah, after the ice, and they know that their opponent is vulnerable. They're tired, they're exhausted. In particular, the goaltender gets some traffic there and put the puck to the net. Anaheim's got the puck in the defensive end. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Thornton. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Dished on over to Silverberg. Takes a bump but hangs on. And a smart heads up read to come up with the puck. They gain the zone from the left side. Passes it over. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. Here's the pass. Poked away by Benning. Handles the pass from the right side. Shot! And he's got that one. Missed the net, trying to tuck it in the corner there. Uh, you can see that he was looking in and around the post, James, and sometimes when you're trying to put it in, that's exactly what happens. He just misses, but a miss is a miss. Grunstrom's moving the puck through his own zone. The Sharks take it along the wall. And that goes off a body. Puck bounces into the bench and we'll get a face off. Couture's the leader of this team. And who do you look to when you're down? You find a way to look to your leaders. They create momentum. Everyone jumps on board. This game is not out of reach yet. And they win the draw here in their own end. Stops them with the glove. What an incredible save in a high danger scoring area. I mean, right in the slot, he's in perfect position to make that club save. Anaheim's been dominating at all ends of the ice, especially offensively here late in the second. Couture's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Walton's lugging the puck. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Quick feed down low, and he slides it quickly to Ruda. Moves it to the middle. Another pass. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Just here in the late stages of this frame, 5-1 is where we sit to this point. Anaheim's going to start with the puck in their own end. Powers got the puck in his own zone. Nash has got it along the wing. Quick feed down low. The Sharks gain control of the puck. San Jose is ready to go on the attack. Under a minute to go here inside the second period. San Jose has gained possession along the boards. Here's an odd man rush. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Vlasic. And now he passes it to Brink. He got all of that hit on the play. And that brings
brings the second period to an end. Both teams will go back to their rooms and get a quick breather. Well, man, there's a lot of fans looking forward to this intermission action coming up here. Fun entertainment in store, and we've got the third period coming up in moments. The moment of truth has arrived for both these teams. Third period action set to go. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. The Ducks have been terrific tonight, and through 40 minutes of play, they hold a comfortable lead, and this is a great position for a coach and their staff to be in where they can look down their bench and say, listen, we have to utilize our lineup here, all four lines, versatility, get them out there and rest up players for the next game. Skates in behind the cage. Takes it across the blue line. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Anaheim's looking to break out. Feeds it over to Niskanen. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the top. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Quick pass to Champion. Fantastic save! Blackwood's all over that save. I mean, he's dialed in and he recognizes where he has to be at the right time. Shot! Oh, and he comes up with a big stop there. Takes a shot, and that carries off one of his teammates in front. Rips it from the blue line. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. The Ducks gain possession along the wall. On the attack along the boards. Denied by the goaltender. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. The Ducks have built themselves a sizable lead here early in this third period. Anaheim's won the draw. Center as the puck leaves the zone. Quick shot! Scores! There's an Anaheim goal! We get to the shot off the most coveted area on the ice, right in front of the paint. Doesn't allow the board to get set up and puts it home. The Sharks will play from the defensive zone. Moves it to Kronstrom. Here's a shot. Can't get it to go. Anaheim's got it from behind the net. The Sharks get a hold of it. Pushes it across to Sturm. Dishes it off. The Ducks have it from their own end. Quick feed to Brink. Scoops up the puck now. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Puck picked up in the open ice. San Jose's got control of it now from their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. The Ducks have it now. Anaheim's gonna play the puck from behind the cage. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. San Jose's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Moves it quickly over to Michael. With possession along the wall. Too much congestion blocks the shot. The Sharks move the puck in the defensive zone. Handles the pass. Quick shot! Stopped by the goaltender. Back to the point it goes. There's another consecutive save. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. 
And he's ridden off the puck. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Scores! Well, a side that they haven't rolled over just yet here, Cheryl. Well, any life is good life right now when you're looking at this kind of deficit, James. And if you're the goal scorer, you certainly feel good about yourself. But from a collective group and, and the units that are going out there, they're going to have to find a way to generate offense. And hey, they're going to take some risks out here because they got to get a few. The Sharks don't really have time on their side here, but at least they've got something to push with. Yeah, really tough hole to climb out of, but certainly that one goal will give them a little bit of a lift. It's respectable. Anaheim's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Shot! Oh, the big rig is denied as the power forward drives the net, shielding the puck, but the tendy makes a huge save. Here's a short pass to Faber. What a trying to gain a step. He's in! Barry's in for the goal! I love his awareness on this breakaway. His head is up the entire way, and he's reading exactly what the goaltender is giving him. He sees some daylight, quick release shot, and he buries it. recognize that they're not going to play run time here, so at least try to make it respectable. Respectable, and they can finish with physicality, and that's something that the staff will be telling them. Also look for everyone to be jumping into the attack, trying to get some pressure on their opponent and get some much-needed goals. The Ducks will play it in their own end. Great cross-ice pass. Through center. Oh, great play to sidestep the poke check. San Jose is looking to break out of their own end. Quick pass to Toffoli. Fires it on net. Stops that one. There's a collision with some authority. Puts it on net. Turned aside with a glove. The Ducks wanted to focus on putting more pucks on net going into tonight's game. They have done just that and then some here in the third. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. And now he passes up to Grunstrom. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. The Sharks scoop it up along the boards. Slides it up to Darlene. Moves the puck. from point blank range. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. Moves it to Darlene. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. San Jose's got a hold of it against the wall. Takes a bump but hangs on to the puck. Dishes it to Darlene. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck. Quick feed to Richards. Big hit. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. The Ducks are looking to protect the lead here late in this third period as they have been the dominant offensive club. Anaheim's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Feeds the puck up to Goodrow. Gain momentum up along the side. Moves it quickly over to Michael. There's the whistle. We've got an offside. The Ducks will become road warriors when they open up a road trip for their next game. And sometimes things just get simplified. I know a lot of people talk about home ice advantage, but sometimes playing on the road does have its perks, bringing a team together. Fires it. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Blackwood. Anaheim's offense has put on a show tonight, and here they are in blowout mode late in the third. They win the draw and go on the attack. Oh, and he's dialed in tonight. What a save on that one. Officials 
Angeles ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. This one-sided affair finally nearing the end.